Today, we're getting up close and personal with the most venomous snakes on the planet. You'll learn how to spot them, what makes them so dangerous, and most importantly, how to survive their painful bites. Brace yourself, this is gonna hurt. Before we bring on the nope ropes, check out this awesome survival guide we created. Winter's not done with you yet. Don't let a power outage leave you stranded without a solution. Grab our double-sided ice storm survival guide, your ultimate tool for battling the elements. Available now for just $1.99. With digital, laminated, and framed options. Click the link below and stay one step ahead of winter's wrath. So cold. <laughs> Number five, the tiger snake. Slithering through the creeks and rivers of southern Australia is the deadly tiger snake. You'll know it when you see it. Tiger snakes have distinctive stripes across their bodies that make them easy to identify. You know, kind of like a tiger. And like a tiger, you shouldn't mess with it. If you're unlucky enough to be bitten by a tiger snake, you can look forward to a world of hurt. Its venom contains neurotoxins that can cause serious damage to your nervous system weakening your muscles and potentially leading to paralysis or death within just 15 minutes. If you come face to face with a tiger snake, watch out for its warning signs. When threatened, it will raise itself up and hiss loudly. If that doesn't scare you off, the snake will inflate and deflate its body, a telltale sign of an incoming attack. Sounds pretty intense, right? Better get that first aid kit ready because we're just getting started. Number four, Cottonmouth. These venomous snakes are native to the southeastern United States and can often be found hanging out near bodies of water. While they prefer the taste of turtles and fish, the cottonmouth snake isn't above taking a chunk out of you. Symptoms of a cottonmouth bite include severe pain, swelling, and tissue damage. If you're unlucky enough to get bitten, you need to stay calm. Easier said than done, I know, but it's crucial to keep your cool. You're gonna need to lower your heart rate. This will slow down the spread of the venom. Oh, and before you even think about it, do not suck the venom out. I know you've seen it in movies, but trust me, you're just gonna make things a lot worse. Trying to suck the venom out is only going to move the venom from your wound to your mouth, which is, medically speaking, really bad. Cottonmouths are territorial and known to attack if they feel threatened, so watch your step. Number three, coral reef snakes. While there are several different types of coral reef snakes, there are two you really have to worry about. First up is the Dubois Sea Snake, which roams the waters of the Coral Sea, the Arafura Sea, the Timor Sea, and the Indian Ocean. Its bite contains a potent mix of toxins that can quickly mess up your nervous system and cause paralysis. In severe cases, a bite from a Dubois Sea Snake can be fatal, especially if left untreated. The good news is, is that the ocean is, well, big. So the chances of running into one are pretty slim. The same can't be said about the olive sea snake. According to a 2021 study, olive sea snakes approach divers during <clears throat> mating season. You see where this is going? My darling, I can't get enough of your diver suit, babe. As the male serpent coils itself around your leg, your first instinct would be to try to escape. But here's the thing, when you try to flee, you're actually mimicking the problematic courtship methods of the olive sea snake. Yeah, when the female olive sea snake tries to slither away, the male will bite down to prevent its mate from escaping. The same thing is happening to your arm. This is getting dark, and I don't even like olives. According to scientists, the best thing to do is to just let the snake go to town on your limbs. Okay, can't get worse than that, can it? Number two, Russell's Viper. Russell's Viper is a highly dangerous snake in India with tens of thousands of bites recorded every year. It's considered one of the big four most venomous snakes in India, along with the Spectacled Cobra, Common Crate, and Saw-Scaled Viper. 
Now, the exact makeup of the Russell's Viper Venom can vary between not so bad to horrifically painful, as it depends on its diet and environment. But a Viper Bite is a Viper Bite. Its venom can cause severe paralysis, blood loss, and even multi-organ failure. When they feel threatened, they coil into an S-shape. If you see this, you're in serious trouble. The last warning you'll get is a loud hiss before it strikes. But chances are, if you're hearing that sound, you're already screwed. <laughs> Number 1. Puff Adder Don't laugh. I know the name is a bit silly, but trust me, the reason why is terrifying. Measuring up to 1.5 meters long, the Puff Adder is extremely aggressive and is more than equipped to handle you. Not only does it blend in with its environment, it can actually sense vibrations in the ground, making it an incredibly dangerous hunter. The venom from the Puff Adder is highly toxic and can wreak havoc on your nervous system, cause internal bleeding, and paralyze you. These symptoms can progress quickly and can be life-threatening. Luckily for you, there is an anti-venom available. That is, if you can make it to the hospital in time. Congratulations! You made it out alive. Think you can handle more? Next, we're putting your survival skills to the test and sending you to Snake Island. Is it true that the vipers there have evolved to become even more lethal? Find out here on How to Survive.